I have a trumpet that came into my shop for a stuck tuning slide, and there are a lot of levels of stuckness, I don't know if that's a word or not, but a lot of levels of stuckness to a tuning slide. Some are really stuck, some aren't very stuck, uh, some are in between. Uh, there, I think there's one or two tuning slides out there that I never was able to fix. Uh, most of them aren't too bad of a problem though. This one I think is not too bad, but I'm going to find out shortly. So what you do first is see which side is stuck. This side, this side, or both of them. Uh, usually it's this side or both. Rarely is this side stuck without this side being stuck. So you take it and you just pull it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but this side is moving. This side is not moving. And then you take some penetrating oil. Just spray a little penetrating oil on there. You can get that at the hardware store. It's usually used for cars, but works on instrument slides too. Then you take a little heat. I have a mini torch. You could also use a cigarette lighter or a match, something like that. Just get some uh, heat on there. Helps draw in the penetrating oil. After you put on the penetrating oil, you let it sit for a little while. Uh, while it sits, I'm going to tell you about uh, what I use to do this. Um, I have a tool, it looks like a table leg, I just chuck it in the vise and then I put the trumpet on there and it helps you hold it and it's easier to work on. You're probably not going to have this tool though, so I'm just going to show you how to do it without this tool. Trumpets are made out of brass, which is a very soft metal, so there's going to be a little bit of give and you're going to use that give to your advantage. I'm holding this side firm with my one hand, the other hand I'm rocking it back and forth and usually that's just enough to loosen up right here so as you're doing that you pull and a lot of, you have to do this for oh sometimes several minutes and by the time it's done your hands a little tired but hey it's getting your side unstuck okay this one's actually coming out now so it's coming out slowly there we go. Once it starts to move even just a tiniest a little bit, you know you're on your way there and you're, you've, uh, you're going to have success. There we go. Slide is out. Now I'm going to show you how to make it not happen again. You take a cloth, you just wipe down the slides, then you take a food cleaning rod with cheesecloth or you can use a handkerchief also. And also my uh, rod is bent and I didn't do that for the sake of flutes, I did it for the sake of trumpets. So you can get around the bell. Also on French horns you need to get around the bell too. Then you take some tuning side grease, put it on the slide, and then you put in one slide two at a time. Just work it in and out, back and forth, rather vigorously, but just don't hurt yourself doing it. Then you do the other one. After you've done that for a while, you just take the rag and clean it up again. Get off all the old junk that's on it. And after that, you should be set to go. Just grease it up like you normally would and it should be fine. Now the slide works fine, just like it's supposed to. That should be good enough, but you can take it one step farther if you'd like to. I have a roll of wick that I use. It's supposed to be used for kerosene lamps, but I don't use it for that. Um, you take that and put some buffing compound on it. You can tell I've used this quite a bit. You chuck a slide expander in the vise. I don't use it for expanding slides. I use it for uh, hold, just holding on to the slide. Just take the wick, work it vigorously. You just work the slide until it's all shiny and then it's done. Keep in mind there are other things that can get slides stuck such as dents and also they can be far more stuck than this. If it is more stuck then uh, you need to stop, take it to your repair technician uh, there are other techniques that you can use, uh, but don't keep going if it is really stuck. You can damage it, so just be careful. If you're not comfortable doing this repair, don't try it. Just enjoy the video. 